The National Cancer Centre Singapore is the cancer centre in Singapore that is focused on the cancer care of Singaporeans. We see the majority of cases in the public sector for cancer in Singapore. And our vision has always been to be a leading global cancer centre. We are focused on giving the best care to our patients by having the best talents and having the best research to be able to innovate and develop new therapies for our patients above and beyond what they can conventionally receive. The National Cancer Centre Singapore uh, plays a pivotal role in leading cancer care in this part of the world, especially Southeast Asia. So we are, have been involved in the training of uh, physicians, oncologists, nurses from countries in the region. And over time, we also hope that we can play a pivotal role in the cause for Asian cancers in the global stage. The National Cancer Centre has uh, five main departments. Specialists from these five departments work very close together in multidisciplinary teams. And in this multidisciplinary teams, we deliberate patients' diagnosis, treatment recommendations, and make the best plans possible for the patient. I am very proud to be a part of this cancer centre because of the dynamic interaction between our clinicians within this centre. That kind of team spirit within this cancer centre is something I'm inspired with every day. I'm also so proud of our researchers here in the Cancer Centre. They have worked collaboratively within Singapore and outside of Singapore, finding new discoveries in cancer. Our uh, research has been focusing on uh, Asian prevalent cancers. As a recognition of uh, our work, we have been very honoured to be given this year's American Association of Cancer Research uh, Team Science Award. Uh, this is the first time uh, this award uh, is given to uh, an Asian team in its uh, 12 years uh, history. We hope that uh, our commitment in this area will bring about more clinical uh, applications and benefits to our patients, not only in our country but also in the region. When I came back from the United States in the early 2000s, immunotherapy wasn't exactly part of the treatment of cancer at that time in a big way. We built on one program after another uh, in cell therapy, in cancer vaccines, and of course we're doing some work looking at antibodies in the mouse model and also in some human studies as well. The ASCO trial is actually a trial to look at whether aspirin can further reduce the risk of colorectal cancer relapse uh, after surgery to remove the cancer and then adjuvant chemotherapy. It's a huge achievement for the National Cancer Centre Singapore to finish 1,200 patients across uh, 60 hospital sites across Asia and Australia. The Big Tree program is ready to study how viruses uh, affect cells to become cancer and to really drive research from bench to bedside so that we can understand many different aspects of how these viruses can affect the cancer, the surrounding environment of the cancer and the immune system around the cancer. So here at the National Cancer Centre, the Division of Cancer Education aims to focus on an entire continuum of learners, all the way from medical students, practicing doctors and general practitioners to our allied health personnel, not forgetting our patients and also the general public in Singapore, for which cancer education is a very important aspect of our focus. Some of our key signature education programs here at the National Cancer Centre include topics such as sarcoma, peritoneal surface malignancy, molecular oncology, cancer genetics and our survivorship clinics. We hope to provide the best possible learning experience and education for all our learners here at the National Cancer Centre. For the past 20 years, NCCS has provided palliative care for our patients at the end of life. We have also evolved into a regional training centre and so we have trained a pool of palliative care professionals that have gone back to set up services in their own departments. We have recently renamed our division as the Division of Supportive and Palliative Care to focus on our new area of supportive care that's going to be provided more upstream to our cancer patients.
We hope to implement a supportive care program that actually entails systematic assessment of the needs and distress of all our patients. Um, and we need to develop care pathways and protocols so as to meet the needs that we have identified. Lastly, what we want to do is we want to train up our general practitioners so that they are able to provide shared care with us. I am really looking forward to our new National Cancer Centre building in about two years' time. We will have clinicians and researchers working hand in hand to help fight cancer. On the same floors, we will have clinics and research on another wing of the same floor so that clinicians and researchers can discuss with each other on many aspects pertaining to particular cancer types. Within radiation oncology, we will also have a new state-of-the-art proton therapy facility with a single synchrotron and several rooms to deliver the proton therapy. We will also have a cell therapy facility where we'll be able to manufacture cells, immune cells, and put this back into patients to be able to help fight cancer. As cancer doctors, we have always been taught that we should cure sometimes, relief often, but comfort always. With the many new advances in cancer coming up, I believe we will have a significant new future. We can cure often, relief always, and comfort every single chance we get.